All right, now I'm gonna work on a cheap quarter inch, and I'm not sure even what brand it is. Not sure, I can't really see it, so we'll wait. It's Taiwan and it's locked up. But it's a quarter inch ratchet. So, you know, I'm a thumb release, the detent works. It's just that I bet it's just dirty and rusty in there. And, you know, but you guys, it's gonna be a good used tool. I mean, I got, you know, 50 cents or less in this thing. I don't buy tools unless they're cheap. Just, I mean, they gotta be a good buy. Oh yeah, this is dirty. Oh yeah, it's dry as a bone. Yep. This is made like one of those uh, newer craftsmen, cheap craftsmen. Taiwan steel, so it's qualities there. Ooh, getting this little keeper out of there is going to be a trick. Oh, thought I had it. Grab hold of it. Now maybe I can lift up. Ah, oh, almost had it. You got a small screwdriver. If I can push in on that one. Nah, just do like I planned. Coming up, there it goes. Ooh, look how rusty dirty that is. It's not broke. Now, if you pull this out, I hope you guys can see there's a ball bearing right there, right there. It shouldn't pop out of there. It should go inside this groove. I'm gonna stick my fingers over it just to be on the safe side. Boy. Turn my hand. Probably should have oiled this silly thing. See, ball bearing popped out in there. Yeah, it was just stuck, rust stuck. Okay, now see if the spring will come out of this one. There we go. How tiny that thing is. Now. So I don't lose anything. Put on magnet. Well, it's gonna be a good working tool. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's just dirt. Dirt, dirty, dirty. Somebody just didn't, probably left it in the toolbox and it got wet. A lot of guys around here have those uh, truck boxes in their toolboxes in the back of their pickup truck and they never maintain them and keep them up and they always wind up water in them. They have seals on them and they think they last forever and they don't. I have a box on my truck and I've replaced the seal. Just one of those things. You gotta, I don't like my tools getting damaged even if it is outside in the truck in the weather. I think some of this might be old rusty grease too, or old caked grease. Look how that cleaned up, look at that. Just a little bit of effort. Doesn't take a lot. Yeah, this is made just like one of those Craftsman's I got. It's probably, probably the same company makes some of them. I'm sure they make a bunch of, you know, a lot of factories, they, 
they companies will send out a specifications for how they want it, what they need, and then the companies will bid on on how to uh, what they can make it for per unit, and then they just slap a name on it. I used to work in a shock factory, and that's what they do there. It was funny because uh, you can buy, used to buy uh, Craftsman shocks, and all they did was change the paint. <laughs> Sticker in the paint. It was a Gabriel shock. Oh yeah, this would be a nice little tool. It's going to clean up real good. All right, let me uh, finish cleaning these little pieces and then we'll work on the Dremel tool. Oh heck, let's go. Let's see what we get out of this thing. say it but uh, sometimes these cheap little tools like this are a real good buy if you can get them you know for little or nothing most homeowners they don't need snap-on or they don't need the uh, Mac and Cornwell and things like that. What's really funny is though that uh, people love their love their craftsman tools. If they knew a lot of a lot of the older ones were made by B and E, New Britain, I mean, and Snap On. Boy, that cleaned up good in there. Look at that. Oh smokes, this is gonna be a nice little wrench. I'm not going to even use the. I'm not even going to use the Dremel in there. Look at that. That cleaned up good. There's a little bit of grease right there in the corner. And there's something here. Well, that's turn out nice. clean the dirt and the trap grease and stuff on this. Hmm. That's weird. It's got a different shape. It's got a flat spot on either side of it. Right there. On either side. Okay. Something I haven't seen before. Looks like that's cleaned out pretty good. I'm looking at the groove where that ring sets in. Yeah, that's good. Well, heck, and let this, I cleaned, oh, here you go. I, I just hit that with the wire wheel. It, this part was rusted really bad. I cleaned the end. And then the ball bearing is in real good shape, the detent. Shoot, I'm not even going to bother uh, trying to polish or anything on this. I'm just going to put it back together. What the heck? Uh, wait, I better check, see this ball bearing, make sure. I've got a little carburetor cleaner. I'm just going to. Oh yeah, look how shiny that is. That's that's in good condition. All right, let's leave it like that. All I'm gonna do is take the bear, the spring, stick it in there, in that little slot. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Oh come on, you gotta be kidding me. Magnetized. There it goes. Now, I'm going to have to use a little bitty tiny screwdriver for this one. A little grease. 
put on the end of the spring. And then it should hold. Should. If I lose this ball bearing, I'm screwed. Well, stay on there. There it goes. It stayed. I don't think it's on that spring right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know if it's the grease or the magnetized screwdriver now. Shoot. Okay. Stay, 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 stay. Talking to an object that's not human. Man. Okay. First. I'm going to just lightly lube the bottom of that because this rides down on there. The slot goes up. The slot goes up because this fits in that slot like that and that's what turns left and right. That grabs that gear. Now, push the ball bearing down. Set that in there. Like that. And there's fiber off that uh, uh, steel wool everywhere. That's it. That easy. You just push down on that ball bearing and that just slides right there. I, I have a tool that works on 3 8 and half hinch, but I don't have a tool that works on these little ones which I really don't need it because that works. This little screwdriver right here works just fine. Now, we can do this a couple of ways, which I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on this clip. So I need to go my spot right there, goes right there. Probably the best thing to do would have been to stick it halfway. I wonder. Like that, halfway. Then, grab hold of this silly, oh, that hurt, tipped my finger. Boy, that thing, that clip's got some tension now. Whew. Let me try to get another scoop up. Screwdrivers, uh, excuse me, another pair of pliers. Just like that. Left and right, left and right, left and right. Okay. See? Flips back. And forth, back and forth, back and forth. Boy, it's stiff right there for some reason. It's just, you know, tell you the truth, this thing is brand new. Inside, I was gonna show you. Look at the gear. There's nowhere, there's none. It's in very, very good condition. I mean, excellent. You can just see, same way with this. You see the, the paw, the, they're just sharp. Nice edging. So, that's fine, I like it. Good tool. For, you know, whatever I got in it, probably you know, less than a dollar. I don't even remember where I bought this thing. I think I got this from a pawn shop. You know, everybody's always looking for the, the, you know, good buy, the best buy. Sometimes something like this, your extra spare toolbox or in the house, something like that, where 
you don't use it all the time, just need a good one, great buy. Okay, this, set it, there again, set it halfway. Drop it, or like that. And then you can flip it over. Now. I guess this goes either way. Yeah, up. Yeah, doesn't matter which way you put this. Okay, bigger pliers. I already found out that the and this these clips, man, they got some tension on them. Just set it down like so. There it goes. Where it was locked up, it isn't now. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let me put this under magnifying glass and see what, I can't see what that says. For all I know, it's a name brand. Hang on a second. Bench top, okay. Not sure who made bench top. Don't care. It's a good used tool. It's got a positive latch, that's for sure. And I don't have a quarter inch socket up here. But, here we go. Good, it was locked up, wouldn't turn. Now it flips, ratchets like it should. And these things aren't designed for 100 pounds of torque, so you know. Uh, it's a good little thumb release, it's a good ratchet, it's not a high dollar, not real expensive, but for me, uh, sticking my extra toolbox, I'm, I'm comfortable. And I didn't polish it, didn't do nothing except just clean the inside, which I'm happy for that because uh, good used tool for my time just to clean it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what you think, if you like it, if you don't. See, so yeah, you can see a little bit of rust on the knurling here. But uh, yeah, bench top. Don't know the, I'm sure there's a number. I didn't look at the number. But this thing here is probably new, probably to what, 12 bucks maybe, 15? Price of tools are now. Uh, it's made just like a Craftsman. It looks and feels just like the Craftsman. That's just what it's like. And this thing is stiff. That spring and that ball bearing is right there now, I'm telling you. But that's good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, enjoy your afternoon. Have fun. I thought it'd be a quick little easy thing to work on. And maybe one of you guys might have one you might want to work on. All right, now. Bye.